Hello yogis and welcome to yoga. Today's class format, we're going to be on our mat the entire class, so no standing poses, only on our glutes, our back, and our bellies. Taking it really slow, focusing on stretching and flexibility today. We're going to get started on our back in either Shavasana or Reclined Bound Angle Pose, whichever you prefer. Reach forward, take a deep breath in. Exhale, slowly come down to your spine. If you're choosing Shavasana, legs are extended long. If you're choosing Supta Baddha Konasana, Reclined Bound Angle, bend your knees. Bring the bottoms of your feet together, heels up towards your booty. Take your hands and arms wherever you prefer. Close your eyes, begin to engage your belly muscles while lengthening and deepening your breath. Focus on super long inhales and even slower exhales. If you chose to start off in Shavasana, take an inhale breath, exhale Supta Baddha Konasana, bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together. We'll all meet in the same place. Keep your eyes open if you'd like. Take your hands to the outside of your thighs. Inhale, hug your knees into your chest. Exhale, rock side to side gently and slowly. Come to a still position. Take your left leg long. With your right knee bent, take an anterior rotation of your leg, hand to the outside of your right foot, and re-release your upper back. Take your right hand to the knee crease. Pull your knee towards the outside right edge of your mat as you use your left hand to pull the sole of your foot, inside arch of your foot towards you. And you can take the right hand and send your knee away from you a bit. <clears throat> Stay completely relaxed at your shoulders and neck. Inhale, single leg up the wall. Lift your right leg. Bend your knee as much as you need to. Take your hands and interlace your fingers at your hamstring. Begin to flex and point your foot. Circle it out. Go the opposite way. And in using your right hand for support, allow your right leg to fall open. Now your right elbow can meet the mat. Again, that right knee can be bent. We're just stretching the inner thigh here without a yoga strap. 
yoga straps help in this variation, but I know not everyone has a yoga strap, so we're going to use our own body to move into the stretch and hold. Breathe into your groin area and your thigh area. Inhale, single leg up the wall. Exhale, supine twist with your leg extended. I know a lot of times we do this with the knee bent and that right shoulder lifted. It lifted and it kind of released from the mat. So press it down as best as you can. Take your right arm long. Breathe into your IT band. You can turn your head so your chin comes to your right shoulder. Inhale, bring your knees back to center, neutralize your spine. Exhale, release your right leg long this time. <clears throat> Good job, pull your knee outside, the left side of your mat, right hand to the knife edge of your foot. Take your left hand and gently pull your leg out, or you can pull it in, depending on what you want to feel. You can even take that hand and place it on top of the opposite hand. Relax your shoulders. This is a great stretch for the hips. You might feel it in the IT band, inner thigh groin area. Give your leg a gentle squeeze towards you. Inhale, single leg up the wall variation. Find your breath, interlace your fingers behind your leg, bend your knee as much as you need. Point and flex. Add circles. Opposite way. <clears throat> Good, extend your right arm with your left hand. Let's just support the outside of the leg. Go ahead and open up the left leg. single leg up the wall. Exhale, supine twist with your left leg straight or a little micro bend to your knee. Press the left shoulder blade down. Inhale, single leg up the wall. Exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Release both feet with your knees bent, feet parallel apart, lengthen your arms. Inhale, bridge pose, lift your booty. Exhale, bind if you'd like, interlace your fingers, press your palms together. Keep the pinky sides of your hands rooted to the mat. 
Squeeze your biceps and triceps as you drive your hips higher towards the ceiling. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Inhale, pull your knees outside your rib cage. Give yourself a gentle squeeze in. Hands to your hamstrings. Exhale, rock and roll up to your booty. Extend your legs nice and long and out for a wide-legged straddle stretch. Seated wide-legged stretch. Inhale, reach both arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, twist your shoulders and torso to your right leg and work on holding at your waistline. Bring your forehead as close to your knee as you can. Squeeze your belly muscles tight, lift away from your thigh. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, twist your shoulders and torso to your left leg and forward. Squeeze your belly muscles, lift away from your thigh, inhale, reach both arms up, exhale, fold forward to the center. If the elbows release, that's great. If not, just hold exactly where you are. Your arms can also extend out to a T if your belly and chest are able to come closer to the mat. Squeeze your belly muscles tight. Inhale, slowly lift away. Exhale, butterfly your knees. So seated, Sutta. Press the soles of your feet together. Your elbows can come inside the knees. Use your elbow strength to push down. I should say upper arm and shoulder strength to push the legs down closer to the earth. Sit up as tall as you can. If your hips are super tight, you can always bring one foot in front of the next and cross at your ankles. Take your hands to your knees. Inhale, seated cow. Push your heart and chest forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, seated cat. Round. Pull your navel in towards your spine, chin in towards your heart space. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. Good work. Swing your legs off to either side of your mat. Inch your way to the back quarter of your mat. Bring your knees out wide, toes in. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, child's pose. Have a seat on your heels. Take your arms long. Bring your forehead down.
Squeeze your belly muscle. Lift away from the mat on your inhale. Exhale, bring your inner thighs together. Bring your booty to your heels. Breathe in. Exhale, embryo pose. Bring your arms behind you, palms facing up around your shoulder blades. Bring your chest to your quads, forehead to your mat. Let your shoulders fall away from one another. Elbows may come to the mat or may not, whatever you prefer. Squeeze your belly muscle, inhale, lift it on up. Exhale, puppy pose. Lift your booty, so booty steps over hips. Walk your hands forward, release your elbows, bring your chest as close to the mat as you can. Keep the alignment, booty over knees, and bring your chin or your forehead down. Keep stretching your arms long to ignite the shoulders, all the muscles in your shoulders. Inhale, squeeze your belly muscles. Exhale, lift away into a forearm plank. Feet hip width distance, release your knees. Bring your booty in line with your shoulders. Your hold, static hold for four, for three, for two, and one. Come on down to your quads. Good work. Nice work. Bring your elbows out to the sides and bring your right ear to the mat. Bring your chin to center. Take your arms along behind you. Interlace all ten fingers. Press your palms in together. Inhale, locust. Lift your arms away from your booty. Legs away from the mat. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Breathe in. Exhale, release the right ear down. Release your bind. Inhale, bring your chin back to center. Exhale, extend your arms along out to the sides. Inhale, locust, lift and fly like you're flying through the air. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze your booty muscles. Lift a little higher, breathe. Exhale, bring your left ear to the mat, arms by your side. Inhale, bring your chin to center. Exhale, extend both arms to a T. Bend your right elbow like you're pushing up to high plank. Bend your right knee. Bring your heel as close to your booty as you can. Breathe in. Exhale, alligator twist. Roll onto your left side body. Release your foot. Stretch the left shoulder. That is the sensation we want. Slowly roll back onto your belly. Extend your right leg, extend your right arm off to the side. Bend your left elbow, 
your left knee, bring your heel as close to your booty as you can, flex your foot, breathe in, exhale, alligator twist, release, and roll on to the right side. Go back onto your belly, bend your right elbow, push up to your knees on the inhale. Exhale, take your legs off to either side of your mat. And with your legs extended, take an inhale breath. Exhale, slowly release to your spine. Inhale, hug your knees outside your rib cage. Exhale, happy baby, flex your feet. Capture your feet at the inside or outside. Stay here or rock side to side gently. Inhale, pull your knees to your rib cage. Exhale, send your left leg long. Keep your right knee bent and release your fingers at your shin. Inhale, half when removing. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your leg over and across your body to the left. Extend your right arm. Inhale, pull your knees into your chest, neutralize your spine. Exhale, release your right leg long. Inhale, hop in, removing, interlace your fingers at your left shin, squeeze, breathe in. Exhale, supine twist, guide your leg across your body, extend your left arm long. Inhale, pull your knees into your chest. And exhale, bring it out. Good, rotate. Oh, this feels really nice. Nice circles at your hips. And switch it out the opposite way. Good, inhale, pull your knees into your rib cage. 
Exhale, send your left leg long. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, hamstring stretch. While you interlace your fingers behind your knee or your hamstring, pull your leg outside the hip and pull your thigh towards you. Release your right leg. Inhale, lift your left leg, single leg up the wall. Exhale, hamstring stretch. And release your fingers behind your left leg. And pull your leg outside the ribcage. Stretch deep into the back side of your leg. Release your left leg long. And reach your arms overhead. You have about one minute to take any other poses, asanas that are calling to you. Or you can hold nice and still. Maybe a leg up the wall variation, another happy baby. Whatever it is, take your time for you. One minute to move about freely or hold still whichever you prefer. <clears throat> Be sure to balance both sides of your body, please. Good job. Inhale, pull your knees into your chest. Wrap your forearms around your shins. Get really small, tense up all the muscles in your body. Squeeze nice and tight. Bring your chin as close to your knees as you possibly can. One more inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. Take your legs long, arms long. Allow your shoulders to fall open. Close your eyes. Relax. Completely surrender. Enjoy final resting pose. Shavasana.
We like to say in Shavasana, please do so. If you are ready to move on and begin to move your body, re-energize, recharge, slow and intentional. Whatever comes to mind, whatever movements feel good, wall-to-wall -wall stretch or fetal pose or both options. We'll meet in Sukhasana, easy pose or a hero's pose variation with our eyes closed. Bring hands to heart center. Lift your thumbs to your forehead. Thank you so much for being here. Pleasure and opportunity to guide you through your practice. I bow to you. Namaste.